Just some really sad news tonight for Boston hockey fans, especially college hockey. And a lot of us are. BU inspiration Travis Roy passed away this afternoon just at 45 years old. This is 25 years and a few days after just a horrific accident that happened 11 seconds into his hockey game at BU. His college career all laid out before him and he went down with a spinal cord injury. Let's bring in sports director Tom Lydon now. And Tom, you know, I think about that, but I also think about all he did since then to help people with spinal cord injuries and the Travis Roy Foundation. Yeah, it was 25 years ago this month. Travis Roy's life changed in a heartbeat. His first shift on the ice as a college hockey player, he hustled to the corner, extended his body, reaching for a puck, flew headfirst into the boards. The impact left him paralyzed and changed everything instantly. Travis Roy, in the quarter century that followed, became one of the most influential leaders in the fight to find a cure for spinal cord injuries. At just 45 years old, he leaves this earth, this earth but not without making an impact on scores of people, many of whom he met, Others he impacted through the millions of dollars he was able to raise. His annual wiffle ball tournament was a staple in the Boston sports scene. His encouraging and motivational speeches were a treat to listen to. Just this past spring, Travis spoke via Zoom to my daughter's class, sharing his story and his message of dedication and hope. His contributions will never be forgotten. A Boston University legend, but more than that, an American treasure who will be celebrated for years to come. We'll have more on the death of Travis Roy as the news continues. In the studio, Tom Lydon, Boston 25 News. You could just see the kids, Ock, in that video, soaking mm. up every word that he was saying. He had such an impact. He really did. And, Tom, you and I took part in that wiffle ball challenge over the years, yeah. and the people that came out for that came from everywhere. They weren't just people that were maybe in the celebrity realm. They were people who were just wanted to support the cause, and he touched so many people by going into the classrooms like he did right there or talking to people in business world and everything else. And a great segue, you know, I told him that I went to B.C. He goes, that's all right. He goes, the B.C. community has been so yeah. supportive of everything I do, so he really enhanced that brotherhood. And I remember a very powerful scene. Now they're both gone. Travis Roy and Pete Frady's both mm. on the ice during the first ComAv Classic that raised money for spinal cord research and also the fight against ALS. So hopefully those guys will toast each other in heaven tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. We lose Pete in December and Travis Roy today. Tom, thanks.